Hi, everyone. I'm Steve here with the gut girl, Nicole. Thanks for being here. Thank you for having me. All right. So if you guys like some of the stuff we do here, you know, talking to nutritionists and personal trainers, subscribe to the channel, uh, hit the little bell so you get notified. And um, we, those are, we talk to doctors and so on. So, um, and I'll tell you more about how you can get a hold of Nicole if you want to know more about her at the end here. So we're going to talk about fruit. And, you know, we were talking off camera. I'm eating more fruit than I normally do. You know, bumping my carbs up to 120, 130 grams, which is really high for me. Mm -hmm. But I'm, you know, I think it has, to, and I can't wait to hear what you say about the best fruits and what is best to eat and all that stuff. And I know that you eat seasonally also. I'm kind yeah. of doing that. It's fruit season. Um, but, you know, I, I'm feeling really good. And, and it, it's just like changing up your workout. And I think it's okay to change up your diet once in a while, as long as you don't ever put junk in your diet, processed foods, which I avoid at all costs. So what are your first thoughts on fruit? I know you eat some mm -hmm. um, and you have multiple clients that you're, you consult with that, uh, but what are your first thoughts? So my first thoughts with fruit is that I think it gets a little bit of a misconception that it's always healthy. You and I do do kind of seasonal seasonal eating. I certainly do seasonal eating. I eat a lot more fruit in the summertime. And then when fall starts to hit, I start to remove it. And now it kind of comes naturally to remove it because it's getting a lot of, a little bit cooler. So I don't want fresh fruit and that kind of stuff so much. But like we were just talking about, I teach spin at night sometimes. And I always have a piece of fruit before I teach that spin because it gives me some energy. Um, so I utilize it around my activity. Um, so people have to be very careful with fruit if they're eating it year round. And if they're eating things like grapes, bananas, mangoes, those kind of things that are very high in sugar and they're sedentary. Just because something is healthy doesn't mean it should be overdone. Yeah. And you know, something that I always do and I'm doing right now is with eating more fruit is I'm checking my glucose, Yep. you know, and I'll increase my, um, dihydroberberin when, when I'm eating fruit, but you know, as long as my glucose is coming in in the morning at 80 and or less, a lot of times, that's what I'm monitoring. So it's not spiking anything. And that's something that I do. Um, glucose is, I think, is one of the best things that you can check every day. And sometimes yeah. I do it multiple times during the day. I do the exact same thing. I, for years, I have been checking my glucose because I want to know the particular foods that spike me. That That's too much. And I'm healthy and I, and I do a lot of exercising. So if something spikes me and I'm not utilizing that, I won't keep that in my diet. Um, grapes are a good thing for me to not put in my diet. Grapes have 18 grams of sugar in a handful of grapes. So that's a lot of sugar if you think about it. And if you're sedentary and not using that, that's a big deal. Yeah. So I want to kind of go through some of the good fruits to eat and some of the ones not to eat. Um, not that, you know, and let me emphasize, and I know that you agree with this. It, this has got to be organic. Well, you got to know the source. You don't just go grab an apple off the shelf at the grocery store. It, it's, it's getting so bad mm -hmm. in my opinion that you might as well just go down the middle of the store and grab a box of crackers, yeah. you know? So you got to know where the fruit is coming from. You want it to be organic. That's for sure. But yeah, I don't eat grapes either. A lot of calories, a lot of sugar. And I, I, I don't eat bananas every once in a while, you know, I'll have a banana, but it's like, 
I don't know, one a year, maybe. I'm the exact same way. And the other thing too, is you guys, you need to also, if you're buying from a grocery store and not, you know, producing this in your own garden, um, if your fruit is rubbery, like if a banana is super flexible to, and you can't get it quite open or you're, your apple feels really leathery, that means it's got a ton of glyphosate on it. So you should put that right back. Do not put that in your mouth. That's a great tip. Um, now, something that I eat that I know I'm noticing, because I document everything, I put everything in my app, what I'm eating throughout the day, mm -hmm. and I look at my fiber and you know my macros and everything. Um, blackberries mm -hmm. and blueberries and wow, what a lot of fiber, like yeah. in the blackberries. And you can eat, I mean, 100 calories of blackberries or blueberries is is quite a bit of fruit. Yeah, it's quite a bit. And really, any kind of berry, a blackberry, a strawberry, blueberry, um, those things are really, really good for you. They have a ton of, especially blueberries have antioxidants. Everybody knows that. Um, blackberries are filled with them too, and they just have a ton of fiber. So I put um, things like if someone's having a stool problem and they're not going to the bathroom a lot, sometimes I'll put a kiwi in because it has magnesium, potassium, fiber, all of that kind of stuff in that they need to push that stool. I love kiwis. Me too. Yeah, one of my favorites. Yeah. And one that's really, really sugary that I eat sometimes in the summer, figs. Oh, uh, yeah. Yeah. Oh, my gosh. Actually, though, a fig only has 6.9 grams of sugar. So it's lower than you would actually think. They sure are sweet. They're sweet. And you can't have a lot of them, that's for sure. But, you know, yeah, I mean, You'll pile up the calories oh, really yeah. fast. Yes. You know, you get a little basket and eat the whole thing, which I usually do once a summer. <laughs> but um, you can't get figs. You can only get figs in kind of the late summer. Yeah, well, um, and, and lots of people can eat figs, and that's not good. Yeah. Well, any last thoughts or, or tips for our viewers? You know, the only last thing is don't forget that avocados are a fruit and they are the lowest in sugar and, and they are packed with potassium and all the good things, fiber. It's just a superfood. So if you're going to have a fruit, have a half of an avocado. Yeah. All right. So, Nicole, uh, anyone listening, if, if they mention that they've heard heard you or seen this video, you'll give them $100 off your program. Mm -hmm. So how do they get a hold of you? You can get me at the gut girl one at gmail.com. Send me an email. We can talk about a um, consult and you can always find me on all the social platforms of the gut girl NV. Thanks for being here, Nicole. Thank you for having me.